Hello, hello, guys. How are you today? How are you guys? Okay, guys, sorry, I was just um, finding out some, I mean, there was a mistake right there on the platform, and I'm just sending this to Andy so he can know and, and it doesn't affect you, okay? Um, all right, so... I was just sending a little uh, message right there to Andy because we need to correct that out. And uh, how are you guys? How was your weekend? I mean, no, no, it was not. It was not a weekend. How was your day? You know, how was your day? Is it good? Was it good? Kind of. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Intenso. Estuvo. Yes. No. ¿Qué pasa? Hablen. Very good. Digo me algo. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Good. All right. That's what it is. You know, that's what we have to do. You know, we have to practice our English. Okay, guys. Uh, questions. Any question that you guys have? Mm -hmm. Questions? No questions, alguna pregunta, chicos, que tengan de los temas que hemos visto, del tema de ayer. O sea, el número ganador de la lotería, no me lo pregunten porque ese sí no lo sé. Ok. That one, I don't know. Ajá, eh. <laughs> uh -huh. no questions. Ajá, uh -huh. Carla, tell me, what's your question? Carla Marcela, yes, se nos fue, ¿dónde está? Where are you? Eh, buenas noches. Good. Con respecto a la clase de ayer, no me pude conectar porque eh, tenía mala conexión a internet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, eh, pues no sé si me podría hacer un pequeño repaso de lo que vieron allá. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we can talk about it. It's no problem. It's very short, actually. You know, we were talking about the present continuous, and I'm going to do a little review about that just, just in a minute, okay? See, I'm going to help you with that, okay? No problem. So, um, besides that question, aparte de esa pregunta, I don't know if you guys have any other question. No? Yes. Could it be? Sí, tal vez. No? Okay, good. If you guys don't have any question, that's pretty good. So we'll continue right now, guys. And this is what it is. This is what I want to say. Hey, listen, I'm going to take the attendance right now. So then we can just continue with the class, okay? And so we don't stop with that. So... If you guys hear your name, just say present or I'm here or I'm eating pupusas or anything, okay? Just tell me you're here, okay? So, all right. So, here we go. All right. So, I'm going to start with uh, the attendance. And the first one, that is Abigail Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Alejandro Antonio. Nope. Okay. Uh, Anderson Jeremy. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. No está, no está Blanquito. Bye. No, mentiras. Ahí está. <laughs> All right. So, Priscilla <laughs> Liz, uh, Lisbeth. 
Lisette Elizabeth, no, okay. Uh, Camila, Lisette. I'm here. This, yeah, Lisette. All right, then let's go with Carlos. Oh, yeah, Carlos Aníbal. Present. Charles, okay. Cecia Gemima. Thank you, Cecia, I see you. Claudia Maricela. Nope. All right, Christian. Present. Thank you. Um, okay. Elsie Gabriela. Emilio Isaac. Estela Elizabeth. Estela Marisol. Present. Fernando José. Eh, Floricia Menjibar. Present, teacher. Yeah. Uh, Glenda Guadalupe. Eh, Hazel Marcela. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. Ok. Uh, Iris Milena. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Alexander. Jaime Iván. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank here. you, Jaime. Both. <laughs> Los dos. Uh, Juana Isabel. Juana, yeah. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Karina Jamilet. Carla Joan. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm here, teacher. All right. Carla Marcela. Present. All right. We got Kevin Hoyle. All right, and then we got Crisia Dorila. I'm here. And Lazaro. I'm here. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so thank you for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate that. So uh, let's continue right here with what uh, we were talking about last uh, class. We were actually talking about the, um, what was it? It was about the present continuous, right? And let me share my screen right here, guys. Oops. Let me share my screen so you guys can see what I'm seeing right here. So here we go. All right. Let me just fix it a little bit right here. And... I'm going to try to do a little recap about the uh, present continuous because actually, uh, not just because Marcela asked for that, but I actually need to make sure that you guys understand that and that you don't have any question about it because we need to understand that completely so we can go to the just no questions with the present continuous. So that's what we guys uh, need to do, you know. All right, okay, I think I got it here. Give me just one more second here. All right, cool. Okay, all right, guys. So first of all, remember that the present continues, we use it to talk about things that are happening right now. Cosas que están pasando en el momento, right? Or that are like temporary, right? That's what we do, uh, or that's how or what we use the present continuous for. So yesterday we were talking about the uh, 
affirmative statements and negative statements. And so this is what I wanna share with you today. Let me just erase here and just give you better, um, I would say, uh, better, better examples, okay? So, um, all right, let me erase this part because I was just teaching another group. Okay, so the present continuous. So, tell me one affirmative sentence, guys. Mm -hmm. Volunteer, one affirmative sentence. I am learning English. That's a good one. I am, or you can say am, learning English. Okay, I'm learning English. Pretty good. Okay, that's affirmative. How can we make this affirmative a negative? We're going to see that, but let's put another example. I can say, she is wearing boots. Or I can say, they are, they are playing soccer. Okay, that's another one. So here we have them. Now, these are affirmatives, okay? Affirmative sentences. Y que necesitamos, okay? Acuer remember, we need the subject, the verb to be, the verb in ing, and the complement. So, por eso les decía yo al principio. Guys, it's important that you learn the verb to be. El saber manejar el verbo to be con los subject pronouns, hacer oraciones con el verbo to be, o sea, en general, manejar el verb to be es esencial. Y si tienen dudas sobre eso, hay que repasarlo. Okay? ¿Por qué? Porque es la base. That's the base. That's what you need to have. If you know how to use the verb to be, how to make affirmative uh, sentences, negative and questions, you're going to be good. Si ustedes saben cómo hacer afirmaciones o negaciones o preguntas con el verb to be, no les va a costar lo demás. Pero si estamos ahí teniendo un problema o we're struggling with that, Probablemente sí les va a costar. Entonces, la idea es que podamos manejar el verb to be también, porque eso es lo que estamos usando acá. Y de hecho, lo vamos a seguir usando por un ratito más. Ok, miren. Subject pronoun, verb to be. Y después solo agregamos un par de cositas más. Ok. One thing. With the verb to be, for example, I can say, I am a student. Esta es una oración with the verb to be. Ok. Um, is a verb to be. ¿Cómo hacemos esa oración? How can we make this sentence a negative sentence? How can I make it negative? Mm -hmm. I'm not a student. Okay, then you can say negative will be I'm not, or I'm going to put it just not contracted. I am not a, a student. Boom. I'm not a student. What is it that we did? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre esta y esta? This one and this one. What's the difference? There's only just one difference. Mm -hmm. Is what? The word not. That's what it is. So I am a student. I am not a student. Mm -hmm. That's the whole difference. And that's the big difference. You know, we don't really have any other difference right there. ¿Qué hicimos? Solo le agregamos not después del verbo to be y ya es negativa. Pues saben qué? Es lo mismo que es lo mismo que hacemos con las uh, negative uh, sentences with the present continuous. Okay? Este es solo el verbo to be, right? Pero estas acá son el present continuous. So how can we make the first one? How can we make the first one negative? Okay, for example, I'm gonna put it here. Get out. I hate this new update. Okay, so it says, I'm learning English. How can I turn this to negative? Mm -hmm. How can I make it negative? I am not learning. I am not 
learning English. How can I turn this one to negative? She is wearing boots. She's not wearing boots. Uh-huh. She is not wearing boots. ¿Y qué estamos haciendo? Vean, lo estamos poniendo after the verb to be. Um, is. And so they are what? They are playing soccer. How can I turn it to negative? They are not playing, are soccer. Not playing soccer. They are not playing soccer. Fácil, right? Easy, right? Easy peasy. Por eso les decía, si sabemos manejar el verb to be, we're going to be good. Vamos a estar bien. So, we, uh, they are not playing soccer. Boom. That's what it is. Okay. But now we have the just no questions. Okay. And how can I turn that into a just no question? Well, let me just put something here. All right. So with the bird to be, we have I am a student, right? So look, un ejemplo nada más para que vean que fácil es. I am my bad. I am a student. Esto no es present continuous. Esta es una oración con el verbo to be, okay? I am a student. ¿Cómo la hago una question? Oh, wait, let me do let me do this. She is a student. How can I make this a question? Mm -hmm. is, is she a student? Is she a student? Is she a, a student? Uh, okay. ¿Qué es lo que hicimos? What is it that we did? ¿Qué hicimos? What did we do? Yes. We actually placed the verb to be at the beginning. Aquí está el segundo y aquí antes en las preguntas va el primero. Y claro, para que sea pregunta le agregamos el question mark at the end. That's it. Y eso es todo lo que se hace. That's all that it takes to do a question with the bird to be. Pues, ¿saben qué? Para hacer preguntas con el present continuous, es la misma cosa. It's the same thing. Just like that. Same thing. It doesn't change. Okay. So... For example, okay, how can we make this one? I'm wearing, I'm sorry, I'm learning English. How can I make this a question? See, am I'm I learning English? Yes. Am I learning English? Y miren que hicimos, hicimos lo mismito in the same thing that we did with the questions with the bird to be. Okay. She is wearing boots. How can I make it a question? Mm -hmm. Is she wearing boots? Is she wearing boots? Is she wearing boots? Okay. And the last one. They are playing soccer. Are they playing soccer? Are they playing soccer? Right, soccer. Are they playing soccer? Um, una paréntesis. El soccer es lo que nosotros diríamos pelota. Ok, fútbol. Ok. Uh, si nosotros en inglés decimos fútbol, eh, se refiere al fútbol americano. De la, ok, American football. Así que para decir... Um, Fútbol, del que nosotros jugamos aquí, que realmente se llama soccer, dicen ellos. Uh, entonces sería uh, soccer, ¿ok? Porque si, de hecho, si tienen lógica, ustedes dicen foot, ball. Foot es pie y ball es bola. Entonces el de nosotros debería llamarse fútbol y no soccer. <ríe> Porque literal nosotros usamos el pie. <ríe> ok, that's why. Little parenthesis. Okay. So anyways. Okay. So are they playing soccer? You know, that's what it is. Now, for these, we have two 
two answers, two possible answers. Which are the two possible answers for, for the just yes, now questions with the present continuous? Yes or no. Yes or no. That's it. I mean, it's easy. It doesn't have anything else, you know. Yes or no. So, pero ojo, hay que prestar atención, ¿ok? Porque, porque si yo le pregunto, hey, uh, I'm going to ask, for example, the, um, let's see, Iris. Uh, are they playing soccer? Y Iris me dice, yes, I am. No, Iris. Mm -mm. <ríe> es un ejemplo, ¿ok? Es un ejemplo. It's just an example, ¿ok? Hay que prestar atención. Por si yo le estoy preguntando, ¿por quién? Por they. Y usted me dice, yes, I am. O sea, no. Estoy preguntando por they, no por usted. Entonces sería, yes. Yes, what? Yes. They are. Okay. Yes, they are. And that's what you do. Or you can say, no, they aren't. Okay. No, they aren't. And so that's what it is. So that's pretty much what it is when we talk about questions, actually. Just no questions with the present continuous. So, any question about this? No? Yes, could it be? Well, let's do something. Let me play the video right here. And so you guys can watch a little bit more of the explanation. And then we will, um, we will continue, okay? Give me a second, it's just loading. I don't know why it's not loading. I already clicked it a couple of times. Okay, so I'm gonna play the video. I'm gonna ask you to like try to pay attention to it. And then uh, we're gonna do a little practice today. We're actually doing some speaking activity, okay? And uh, we're gonna be asking questions as well and all that, okay? And so this is our objective, you know, that by the end of this, Plus, you will be able to form just now questions in present continuous tense. So, let me play the video and you guys pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb, plus ing, plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is, is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of compliment. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the, 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 the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, you're going to say are. 
the pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what it is. Now, one of the things that you guys have to know is just the structure. Once you know the structure, you're going to be fine. Is lo que les, di les decía. Si ustedes se aprenden la estructura, no les va a costar. Por ejemplo, eh, si ya saben hacer una, formación, una um, affirmative, pues sabe que para hacer la negativa, lo único que va a hacer es agregarle not después del verbo to be. Y si ya saben hacer una affirmative, ya sabe hacer una, una question también, porque sabe que lo único que va a hacer es mover el verbo to be al principio y boom, that's it. Entonces, yo les decía, uh, o sea, no hay nada más de explicación que necesite, o sea, no les voy a dar una explicación bien astral <laughs> si no la necesita el tema, ¿ok? So, I mean, that's what it is. It's, you just keep it simple, right? So, I don't know if you guys have a question about this. So, do you have a question about the just now questions or about anything like that? No? No question. No teacher. Okay, clarito, como el cafecito, like the cock. No, yes, could it be? Okay. Bueno, si ustedes no tienen preguntas, yo sí tengo preguntas para ustedes. If you don't have a question, I have questions for you. Okay, now this is what we what we were talking, okay? Just remember we have two op uh two options for that. Um I would say two answers, you know, like yes or no, right? Yes, I am, no, I'm not. Now, one little thing, una cosa. Por ejemplo, si le pregunto, let's see, um, Abigail. Abigail Elizabeth, are you Abigail Elizabeth? ¿Qué respondería? What would you answer? Yes. yes. I am. I am. Good job. Yes, I am. Ok, ¿por qué les digo esto? Porque, for example, are you a student? Are you a student? Obi? Yes, I am. Ok, we will never ever say yes, am. Mm -mm. So, when you are answering... Cuando usted está dando respuestas afirmativas con el verb to be, nunca lo vamos a contractar. We are not going to contract it. So we don't say yes, am. Mm -mm. We don't say this, okay? We will say, yes, I am. Or I will say like, is she your classmate? Is she your classmate? Yes. She is. Mm -mm. Not contracted. No va a ser contractado nunca cuando sea una respuesta afirmativa con el verbo to be. Si es negativa, sí se puede, right? Miren, no, they are not. Or they aren't. Pero no afirmative. Yes, she is. Nunca yes, she is. Okay? We clear with that? Yes? Preguntas sobre eso? Questions about that? No? No questions? Seguros? Yes? Okay. So, if you guys don't have any question, I have questions for you. So, for example, I'm going to start asking Carla Joana Martinez Platero. I'm going to ask her, Carla, is Claire wearing a green suit? Who is Claire? Oh, okay, well, it says ask and answer these questions about the pictures in part A. So, 
tienen que venir a esta parte. You have to come to this part. Y veamos, Claire. Is Claire wearing a green suit? So Carla me va a responder a mí. Y después de que me responda, le va a hacer la siguiente pregunta. It's going to ask the next question to one of you, alguno de ustedes. Y al que le pregunte, responde. Y después le pregunta a otra persona. Y así sucesivamente hasta que nos acabemos las 12 questions. ¿Ok? So, we got it, Carla. We got it, guys. Questions about that? No? Yes? Are we clear? So, let's start. Carla, is Claire wearing a green suit? Si tiene su material, vean ahí su material, guys, please. Uh -huh, Carla, do you want it? Teacher, disculpe, yo tengo que hacerle esa pregunta a un compañero. No, ahorita me la va a responder primero. Ah, Mira, ok. Va a, va a preguntar la siguiente. Uh -huh. ¿Qué me dice? <ríe> estoy compartiendo pantalla. ¿Sí ven mi pantalla? Sí. Sí, ahí le estoy mostrando a la Claire. Uh -huh. Is Claire wearing a green suit? Teacher, disculpe, que no le, no le entiendo. O sea, yo tengo que responderle a usted lo sí. del ejercicio. No, tiene que responderme la pregunta que le estoy preguntando. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bueno. Ahora, right, entonces una speaking activity. Les decía al inicio que vamos a tener la speaking activity. Vamos a tratar de hablar un poquito. We're going to try to talk a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go with Christian. Uh, Christian Daniel. Is Claire wearing a green suit? Yes, she wearing a green suit. Okay, let's try once again. Just remember. Is Claire wearing a green suit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she, she is. is. That's it. That's okay. a good thing. Now, you can say, I know if you want to say more information, you can. But you can say, yes, she is. Punto. Pero si quiere dar más información, puede hacerlo. Y después puede decir otra vez, she is. Wearing a green suit. All right. Pero si usted solo quiere quedarse hasta aquí, you're good. You're perfect. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. O, y si quiere agregarle más, puede decir, yes, she is. She is wearing a green suit. Okay? But if not, just this is okay. So, um, let's go. Number two. Christian, ask that question to somebody else, please. Okay. Uh, Floricia Lengiva. Is she wearing a rain coat? Uh, is she wearing a raincoat? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Raincoat. No, no me acuerdo qué es raincoat. <laughs> ok. Rain comes. Raincoat. Acuérdese que rain es oh. lluvia, mm. ¿cierto? Ajá. Pero raincoat, ¿qué El, será? Es como, como capa, algo así. Mm -hmm. That's what it is right here. A raincoat. Es, es como un, ah, un, puede ser una capa o un, de hecho si sí es una capa, es como un abrigo para la lluvia. O sea, tendría okay. que ser algo impermeable. Uh -huh. okay. um, la pregunta. Is she wearing a raincoat? Is she wearing... No, sería no. She's not. No. She's not. Uh huh. No, she's not. Good job. Yes. Continue, please. 
Carla Marcela, is she wearing high, high heels? High heels? Eh, disculpe que es uh, rain ¿cómo? ¿Cómo dijo? Ay. Can you uh, uh -huh. repeat the question, Floricia, please? Is she wearing high heels? High heels. High heels. Serían eh, Zapatos altos. Tacones. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Continue, please. Abigail are Toshi and Noriko wearing swim suit. No, they they are not. Uh, are Toshi and Noriko wearing suit. What was the answer, Abigail? Repeat the answer, please. No, they are not. Good job. Uh -huh. No, they are not. Continue with the next one, please. Um, are they wearing their shorts? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No sé de alguien. Ah. Yo estoy promocionando el papel. Creo que con No sé si le preguntaron a Claudia Marcela. Ah, uh -oh. not yet. To Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Claudia, Right, Claudia, can you hear us? No le podemos escuchar, Claudia. We can hear you. Serán los audífonos, probablemente, no sé. Call me, could it be? No. Okay. Um... No, they are not. Yay, sí, ahora sí lo escuchamos. No, they are <laughs> not. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So, no, they're not. Oh, they are not. Good job. Okay. Go with the next one, please. Um, uh, Christian Daniel. Uh, let's let's choose somebody else. Ya, ya le preguntamos a Christian. Preguntémosle ah, a mí. Bien, <laughs> a ver. Uh, Glenda Guadalupe. Glenda Guadalupe, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Glenda, are you here? Hello, hello. Me puede preguntar por favor. Yes, she is. Go, ask her, please. Are they wearing sunglasses? 
are they wearing sunglasses? Uh, sunglasses sería... Tengo una duda. Los lentes. <laughs> yeah, but for the sun. Pero para él. Sol. Sun is sol. Y glasses, lentes. Lentes de sol. Mm -hmm. uh, sería no, they are not. No, they are not. Okay, good job. Uh -huh. Ask the next question, please. Sería cualquiera de las que están ahí. Sería, podría ser el literal 8 o en orden. Uh, yeah, no, number 7. Ok. Um, sí, um, Blanca Stephanie. Ok. Is Phil wearing gray pants? Is Phil wearing gray pants? Mirica mm -hmm. pantalón de pants, yeah. Pantalones. Pantalones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes? He, he, yes, he cheese. No, she is. Yes, she is. Yes? Mm. Phil is he. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Now go with the next one, please. La ocho. Yes, number eight. In eight. English. Number eight. <laughs> mm. It is. Is he wearing a brown chair? Chair? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Good job. Now. You go with the next one, please. Iris. Is she wearing a tie? Mm. Mm, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we are with, it's not she, he. He. Sorry. Is he wearing a tie? Uh, Glenda Guadalupe? No, he is not. No, he is not. Let's go with the next one now, Glenda. Can you ask somebody else, please? You already answered, but that's okay. Puede preguntarle la siguiente alguien más, please? That's going to be number uh, 10. Cecia Genima. Is Katy wearing boots? Mm -hmm. Is Kathy wearing boots? Ok, tu Aníbal. Gracias, Aníbal. Ya le vi que quiere respondernos. Díganos, Aníbal. <ríe> ok. Is, uh, is Kathy wearing boots? Yes, she is wearing Wearing boots. Mm, la respuesta está bien, solo que nos está mintiendo. Eh, Así como. Eh, <laughs> no, she is wearing a boot. Uh -huh. Is Kathy wearing boots? No, she is. No? No, she is. Mm -hmm. No. She. She is not. not she. Oh, she is not. Sería she, como con S, 
she, mm, quizás no sería como con C, no sería she, sino como she, con S. She. She. Entonces sería, yes, she is. O no, en este caso es, no, she isn't. O oh, she is not, right? Contracted or not contracted is okay. Okay. Um, ask the next one, please. Okay, okay. Uh, number 11. Is she wearing a coat? Is she um, wearing a coat? Mm -hmm. A Juana Isabel. Okay. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Es una buena respuesta, solo que otra vez nos está mintiendo, no nos mienta. Don't lie to us. <laughs> so? No, she's not. No, she's not. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. What about number 12? Ask that question to somebody else, please. Okay, um, quiero ver. Let me see. Quiero ver, let me see. Mm -hmm. um, a Christian Daniel. Okay, it's okay. Uh, is she wearing a hat and gloves? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Good job. Thank you. So, Christian ha estado bien solicitado ahora. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, okay. Yeah, that's what it is, guys. Okay, now, that's what you guys need to pay attention to, okay? So, um, you have to remember that you have to follow the structure. Yes, she is. No, she's not, right? Those are like the answers, okay? You can do it contracted or not. Just remember, we don't use contractions when we give affirmative um, answers with the verb to be. Okay, that's when we don't do it. Now, let's do something. Let's work in exercise. A... Let's go in the knowledge check right now. We're going to work it out together. So I'm going to give you right now like five minutes. So please try to complete these exercises. And if you did them already, you can just check them a little bit. And then we will just check the answers together, okay? And as I told you before, I think it's having a problem right here because it should be taking the coma, but I think it's not taking the coma. So let me see. Yeah, it's not taking it. Now, I just want to say something here. Y eso es lo que les decía que estaba reportando eh, cuando nos unimos a la clase. Que la respuesta acá dice, Is Bruce wearing light, a light green jacket? Is yes, he is, right? Pero no la está aceptando la plataforma con una coma. Y tiene que llevar coma. Si la acepta así nomás, es un error. No debe de ir así, ¿ok? Tiene que llevar una coma. Sería yes, he is. Y se lo digo porque no sé si ya ustedes lo completaron anteriormente y decían, bueno, quizás no lleva coma, pero sí, sí lleva coma. Eso es un error, so yo ya lo reporté. Ok, por ejemplo, acá vean, y si no me creen, miren acá en el material. Yes, coma, I am. Yes, coma, she is. Yes, coma, they are. Hi, Abigail, tell me, what's your question or comment? Sí, 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 Entonces, igual con la coma y todo. Al final, este, eh, a mí me respondió, ya dijo al final, y me dijo que estaba un punto al final. Entonces, eh, igual, de igual forma, las cosas, porque quería la respuesta de diferente manera. Entonces, uh
porque, o sea, tenía que llevar, la, yo lo ponía con punto y lo dejaba sin punto, entonces este, tenía que llevar punto al para terminar la conversación, por decirlo de forma, me imagino que ahora. Sí, um, well, you know, it shouldn't be like that. Um, it shouldn't be like that. Y saben, sí, yo por eso lo reporté con él también. Yo se lo envié, le envié un video y le dije, hey, look, this is what's going on, right? Vaya, aquí no lo aceptó. So let's see. Oops, it's not, it's not she, it's actually he. My bad. Pero My... coloca en el punto, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's no, see. Pero es que no que lleva punto. It's, it doesn't es, have es to be a punto. Es lo que le digo, eh, teacher. Yeah. Es lo que le digo que lo quiere como este, como contraído. O sea, de la no? otra manera. Contracted. Ajá, exacto. Después de not, póngale el punto. Let's see. Let me try this no, sorry, I think I gave another space here. Let me try this way. Uh huh. See, is let's see this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Bye. See, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, en esta sí no la va a aceptar así. Entonces ya lo reporté ahí con Andy para que pueda corregir eso. Uh, puedan corregir, no sé quién trabaja de esta forma. So, um, pero sí, lo otro acá. Eh, la, la cosa es que... Look at the image load and the questions. Es que no nos está pidiendo que lo hagamos de forma contratada. So, that's a mistake there. They need to fix that. Um, and, but yes. La coma siempre la lleva, chicos. O sea, yo entiendo que aquí no se la va a poner así. Uh, buena probablemente en la primera, pero para que ustedes sepan, la coma siempre la lleva. ¿Ok? So, yes, coma, no, coma, and then the rest. ¿Ok? So, that's what it is. Ok, so what about... Um, is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Who is Beth? What's the answer? Ajá. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, chicos? Yes, she is. 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 It should be like this. Okay. What about John? Is John wearing blue jeans? No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. No, he, let's say, isn't. And let's see if that can help us. And the last one. Is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? Not cheat. No, 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 she's she's not. not. Okay, so there's no. She isn't. Okay. Let me just correct this one. It should be capital letter, actually. Okay, let's check the answers. Let's see what they say. Huh? These are all good. Okay, cool. So, yeah, just this one is the one that is not taking the comma, okay? But it has to take a comma. And it seems to be that the others are requesting you to do it in the contracted form, okay? Like Ethan and all that. Okay, so guys, do you have any question about the present continuous? Preguntas sobre present continuous? No? Yes, could it be? No, teacher. Okay. So now, before we go, then, I'm going to ask you to write, uh, I would say, five. Five yes, no questions by your own. Ahora ustedes, necesito que escriban cinco yes, no questions. O sea, por ustedes mismos, okay? No agarren copia de nada. <laughs> okay? Let's do it by yourself. Ustedes solitos, okay? Y después les vamos a preguntar. So let's go three minutes. I'm going to give you three minutes. Write five yes, no questions. Okay. On your notebook.
If you have a question, let me know, okay? Okay, did you finish? Almost there. Okay, let's do something. Um, Jaime, ask one of your just now questions to uh, one of your classmates, please. Are, are they using my computer? Okay. To whom? A quien le pregunta eso? To whom? Uh... Blanca Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> Repeat the question, please. Entonces sería mejor. Uh, are you using your computer? Okay. I'm sorry, casi no me escucho bien. Uh, are you using your computer? Mm -hmm. Are you using your computer? Uh -huh, Blanquita. Yes. Yes. They are. Mm -mm. You. I'm asking you for you. Le estoy preguntando por usted. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Now you, Blanca, ask somebody else, please. Do you have them ready? Let's let me know. Or sí. no. le damos chance a Iris. Iris, ask one of your questions, please. Are you cleaning your house? Mm. Anderson, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me voy a repetir, por favor. In English, can you repeat, please? <laughs> Are you cleaning your house? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. No nos mientan. No. No nos mientan. Eh, eh, <laughs> no, it's not. 
Let's do Okay. What is it? El subject. Repeat your question, Iris, please. Are you cleaning your house? Are you cleaning your house? No, I'm not. No. No? No. I'm not. Ah. No, I'm not. Ah. Mm -hmm. okay. No, I'm okay. not. Mm -hmm. okay, it's okay. It's okay, guys. All right. So, guys, uh, just make sure you actually work on this, please. And, I mean, you have everything completed on your platform. And actually, next uh, uh, next uh, week, we're going to start with the section five, okay? So we will have the final exam as well. And so that's it, guys. If you don't have any question, I will see you on Monday, okay? Preguntas antes de que los deje ir? No? Okay, guys. If you drink, don't drive, okay? Don't drive. All right, so... I'll see you guys. Enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Take care. See you later, bro. See you later. You guys take care. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.